Center visitors and worldwide followers. My name is Morel, and I will be talking to you about our bears during our 11 o'clock enrichment program of the day. Right now, we are expecting Lucky and Holly to hopefully come down for their enrichment item. Ted was out early in the morning. Ted, our 19-year-old male, he went out first thing in the morning, and he went foraging around in the pond area. Ted Bear really enjoys coming out into the pond area in the morning. We call him our morning bear. And so he was out walking about for about for a good few hours this morning. And so, but actually not too long ago, he started heading back to his den. And that told us that he has had enough exercise for the day and he was ready to go back into his individual enclosure. And so now that means Lucky and Holly can come down for their enrichment items. Two interns are going to be giving them donuts for their enrichment items. And the reason why we let Lucky and Holly out once Ted has decided to go back in is because when Lucky, our nine-year-old male, started to grow up and mature, there started to be some dominant tensions between him and Ted. So just to be safe, we keep them apart. Because if anything more to ever happen, we can do anything about it. We don't expect anything to happen, so it's more for a peace of mind. Ted can go out with Holly, however, but Holly and Lucky are best friends, so they're usually always. instance of one black bear swimming up to nine miles in the Gulf of Mexico. So they're excellent swimmers and it definitely is their favorite way to cool down on a hot day like today. Black bears can get very hot very easily. They are, a lot of our bears are in the process of shedding their winter coats. Holly is just about done shedding her winter coat. If you, when she decides to show up, you'll see that her fur looks really sleek and shiny. That's because she's just finished shedding her winter coat. Lucky, in contrast, will look more shaggy. That's because he's still in the middle of that process. Tasha is almost done. She has some light brown on her back where the fur is getting bleached in the sun as it's getting shed. And Ted is kind of still in that process as well. And it takes about six to eight weeks to shed their winter coat. And then in August, they grow up back again. So black bears can get really hot really fast. In fact, the tips of their guard hairs and on just a 73 degree day can reach temperatures of 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And their skin on a 73 degree day can reach temperatures of 112. So they can get really hot and so they really do love swimming in the pond to cool down or just hanging back in the woods in the shade. Which could be what Lucky and Holly are doing right now. They could just be hanging out playing together in the shade, enjoying being out there right now. Also, there are perhaps a lot of cool new things out in the enclosure for them to explore. Because as a lot of people are aware, we did have a big storm two nights ago. And so that storm did uh, break a lot of branches and caused some trees to break. And so that creates kind of a new area for them to explore. So they could be very interested seeing what's changed and exploring the new things that have happened in the enclosure. And so that could also be what's keeping them from coming down. A lot of people ask, how do our bears respond to storms? Well, they don't really mind the rain too much, but when it's thunderstorming, they, they get scared very easily. Holly's response is usually to climb up our white pine tree over there to the left, and she'll usually sit up there and try and ride it out. Lucky Bear will run and hide in his bunker den. That's where he likes to wait out thunderstorms. Ted just hangs out in his den. Tasha Bear also just seeks, seeks shelter in her individual den. And so they could be busy back there exploring all the new fallen trees, seeing if there's any ants to dig up from the fallen logs. Black bears have curved claws that are very excellent for digging up into the bark of fallen trees to get all the ant larvae out of there. 
They have long, sticky tongues that can be six to eight inches in length. And those tongues are perfect for picking up that ant larvae. Oh, it looks like uh, Holly Bear is coming from the right. Holly Bear has decided to stay high, and she's off to the right. And she will be following Sharon, our bear curator, to come get her enrichment donuts. But right now she's sniffing around. We did put out a set of some food for them to forage around on the pond area. So she is also sniffing around smelling for that. You can see her nose is in the air. And you might also see her open her mouth. Opening her mouth also helps her smell because black bears have a vomital nasal organ on the roof of their mouth that really helps them smell. And so that secondary sensory organ is an, another reason why black bears have such an excellent sense of smell. In fact, black bears can smell for miles. And their sense of smell is 100 times better than a bloodhound. So it looks like Holly is now in the bushes. It looks like she's just checking out what's over there. That is a favorite spot of Holly's to lay in and either eat her enrichment item or just to cool off in the shade or to play with Lucky. Lucky Bear, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't too far behind Holly. He and Holly are best friends, like I mentioned before, and usually where one is, the other isn't too far behind. Oh, and there's Lucky coming from the top of the waterfalls. You can see him right above the waterfalls, sniffing around for all the nuts that have been thrown about. And hopefully he'll start making his way down to get his enrichment donuts. And so I'll tell you their weights again so you can see that size difference between Lucky and Holly. Lucky is 396 pounds, while Holly is 234. However, today is Friday, and today is way day. So if we can get them up onto the scale, the three-sided wooden box over on the ground to the right, that is what we use to weigh our bears today. So their weight would probably be different, and we do write their new weights on the whiteboard that's indoors by the viewing windows, and you can always take a look at that and see their weight. So I wouldn't be surprised if their weight was different, and most likely is. And so hopefully we will get to learn what their new weight is soon once we get them onto that three-sided scale. It looks like Lucky is now scratching his back on the tree and he is scent marking. You can see that he loves rubbing his head and his back against that tree. It feels good, and it's scent marking. Ted also did that this morning on, on a tree on his way to the pond area. And now he is walking around, heading down towards the front of the viewing windows. And closer up, now you can see that he, his fur is really shaggy. So he's still shedding his winter coat. And that takes about six to eight weeks. And he started a couple weeks ago, so he's still got some time probably for that to shed and finish that process. You can see Lucky's ears are perked. He can hear the interns calling his name, and he can definitely hear that even way in the back of the enclosure, even about over the sound of the waterfalls, because black bears have an excellent sense of hearing. They, their hearing exceeds the range and frequencies of human hearing. And now Holly Bear is above the waterfalls, and her nose is in the air. You can see her sniffing. And now she's sniffing the spot that Lucky just sent Mark. And so you can see she's very excited to explore, and now she's running, running down to get her enrichment item. Oh, nope, she changed her mind. There's too many other things to explore. And now she's heading back. She might even head towards the white pine tree and might decide to climb that white pine tree. Who knows? Our black bears really do love that white pine tree. Their curved claws make them excellent climbers. And with white pines especially, the thick and sturdy branches can support all of their weight. And the bark does not chip away easily when they climb it. And so they really prefer to climb white pine trees. 
And now Lucky's Enrichment Donut has been thrown out to him, and he is exploring it. And you can see him using his paw and his mouth to manipulate that object to get all of the grapes out of there. So you can see he is using the foraging skills and techniques that all bears use, even wild bears out in the wild, and the art bears use out in the enclosure as well to get at all the natural bear food plants that are out there. And you can see now you get a better picture of all black bears using that long, sticky tongue to pick up those food items. So they can use that tongue to pick up all the grapes and any nuts without picking up things that they don't want, like dirt and rocks. And Lucky usually likes to stick his face in the center of that donut toy and use his face to kind of lift it up and move it around. When Polly decides to come down, I wouldn't be surprised if she came to check out Lucky's Enrichment Donut. They usually like to see what the other bear got and investigate and see if one bear got something better than the other. We are a nonprofit here at the North American Bear Center, and so we don't receive any state or federal aid. All the money that we get to take care of our bears comes directly from admission fees, donations, any gift store purchases. So we're very, very grateful for your visit today. If you really enjoyed your visit, feel free to look us up on TripAdvisor and leave any comments. We really love hearing your feedback. You can see Holly running from the left now. She's heading towards the creek. She might stop and get a sip of water on her way over. If you think you might be a frequent visitor here at the Bear Center, you might be interested in getting a membership available at the front desk. Holly Bear is walking up to get her enrichment donuts. She's sniffing around the wooden den, the window den right now. And now she is heading over to the cedar chip pile. And that cedar chip pile our black bears really love because of the cedar oil. It, the cedar oil actually repels bugs, and the cedar chips just feel really good to roll on. And now you see how you're kind of bouncing on the fallen tree. That's kind of a favorite move of Holly's. Whenever she and Lucky are playing out there, Lucky's usually in the water pushing the fallen tree while Holly tries to balance on the tree and walk across it. And now Holly's checking out Lucky's enrichment donut while Lucky has gone on the scale because he really prefers to just be fed his food right there on the scale. But it looks like it's not going to be that easy for him, and so he's heading back to work on his enrichment donut. We also have the Northwoods Ecology Hall. It is our newest exhibit here at the Bear Center. And there you can learn about the other animals in the Northwoods besides black bears. And we do have some live painted turtles, green frogs, a leopard frog, an American toad, garter snakes, and blue spotted salamanders and fish as well. And if you're looking for other things to do in the Ely area, make sure you check out the International Wolf Center. It's right across town. And if you go there today and show them your wristband, you will get a dollar off admission. And that deal works vice versa. And there at the International Wolf Center, they have four ambassador wolves, Luna, Volt, Aiden, and Tamali, and they have two new Arctic wolf pups, Axel and Grayson. And they do programs with those pups at 10, noon, 2, and 4. And they are open daily from 9 to 6, just like the Bear Center. I'll leave you guys to continue watching Lucky and Holly. You can see Holly actually walking backwards with her donut. She is our only bear who walks backwards with enrichment toys. And so that's really fun to see her using her paws that way. I'd just like to thank you again so much for visiting the Bear Center. We really appreciate it, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.